It's gonna be a cool show today. Hey guys, welcome to the Tiki Hut. Let's talk about supporting local artists and businesses. Um, so my first story is about what well, was in November of last year. It's about eight months ago. I received a flyer from my friend and her son, Flynn Brennan, is an artist and he at that time was 13. I'm pretty sure he's 14 now. Um, and he was having his first art show and we were invited to it. He's been doing, you know, painting since he was two years old. So I went to it and I was very impressed. You have to see some of these beautiful, beautiful paintings. To the sound of playing on the radio What color lights up your face Aren't those amazing? I love them. And I commissioned him to paint one for me. Also, he set up a scholarship. He did. So 30% of the proceeds went to the scholarship that he has funded for an art school, which I think is like amazing. Mm -hmm. Well then, the holidays happened and then other stuff happened. So he had painted this painting and I said, I want you to just kind of like paint my aura or my soul, like, like something like that. And he looked at me and he just went, okay, I got it. And then he painted it. I'm like, wow, that's cool. This, he's serious. And this is what I got. I absolutely love it. And if you would like to commission him to do a painting, you can contact his mom. Now I can say I knew he was a genius before anybody else did. I got an early Flynn Brennan. This is Flynn Brennan, 220, 2020. Amazing job. So July 4th was a little different this year because obviously everybody knows. And I walked out to the living room and saw this. And I'm like, I guess, I guess you're painting a wall today. And uh, it's a little darker than he thought. It's called the edge of black, but this happened. It's actually very soothing to have this dark wall 
walls, the hemp, the, hemp, the dark walls. And, uh, but now, now I think I want to paint the red walls a different color. So we'll see what happens. So the last thing is I've never done an unboxing before and it's not really in a box. So it's more in a bag, but there's, um, this local mom and she makes custom aprons and uh, her name is Jennifer inspired journey designs I'll give you all that info right here if you if you would like her to make you something and I got it on I got it on Friday and I haven't opened it yet look how cute it's even like so I'm gonna, I'm gonna unbox it now unbag it Let's see, I'm so excited. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it, look. Tiki Talk with Karen. I love it. Let me go down. There we go. Yay. Oh, and it's nice and tall for me because I'm 5'9". In the morning, I'm, I am. I think by the evening, I'm 5'7". But anyway. Jennifer, I love it. And... The name of the company again, Inspired Journey Designs. If you go on Facebook and look for Inspired Journey Designs um, and private message her. Thank you for supporting my small business. I appreciate you. Please visit me on Facebook and Instagram at Inspired Journey Designs. Well, I support you and I love it. And it's my new favorite apron to bake my sourdough, which reminds me, on Wednesday, I'm having a live sourdough class. Well, it's a Zoom, it's like a Zoom call class, but with Patrick Ryan. He's gonna be in Ireland, and I'm gonna be here making some amazing bread. Hopefully my flour comes. Have a great night. And I'll see you tomorrow.